YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy you took some time to stop by today. So today I have a little um, Hermes to show. Um, so I did go to Holt Renfrew and um, I want to show you what I picked up. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, so I did go to Hermes and I picked up a couple beauty products um, that I've been wanting for quite some time and I just haven't gotten around to get to the store. A lot's been going on um, and I much prefer the experience of purchasing at the store than online so I wanted it to be um, I wanted to, to take the time to do that so the first product in here is the natural enhancing complexion balm so this has been out for a couple months now I have it in this coquillage I did have a sample of this and I have been using it and I really really enjoyed it personally for my combination oily combination skin. This has been really, really great. Um, so you open it like that and it comes in a tube like this, 10 coquillage and the logo right there. It's really, really beautiful. Um, twist cap, I'll take the aluminum off when I'm going to um, use it. So I will do a demo um, and you know how it wears and all of that for you. But um, I'm not gonna use it today because it is 37 degrees outside with the humidity. So it's extremely hot and heavy um, and humid. And uh, I just don't want any makeup on my face today. So I only have really good hydration and my sunscreen, um, some good moisturizer. Um, I have some blush. So I have my Rose Abricot uh, Hermes blush and I used my Rose Plume on my eyes. Um, I saw a YouTuber say that. She said, oh, am I the only one who likes to use my blush on my eyes as well? And I thought, what a good idea, why not? So I've been starting to use, I really like Rose Plume on my eyes. Um, so there you go. So I will come back to you about this. I'll do a, you know, get ready with me and, and we'll, we'll do the swatch and all that. But in the meantime, I just want to keep it, you know, as fresh as possible. Um, but... I know this heat's not going to continue for long because it's completely abnormal for May. Uh, this is more like July weather, but yeah, I'm making the most of it. And then what I picked up, and this I do want to try with you, is the Plein Air Radiant Matte Powder in Nuage. So this is going to be my keep it in my bag. I'm getting shiny. I'm going to mattify my skin with this. So this is my little oily skin um, save me <laughs> kind of products because um, it's the time of year where my skin struggles a little bit. Uh, so it comes in a really nice little box just like the blushes and you slide it open. And here is that beautiful compact, the same size as the blushes. And you open it, and there it is, that white powder. I'm gonna take the little plastic off here. And so it's just kind of this white, and it just blurs, it doesn't, leave a white cast on there. So we're going to put some on my face because I am a little bit shiny. My bag of the day or of the weekend because we're going away for the weekend is my Karl Lagerfeld, I think Charlotte. 
uh, in this beautiful quilted with the flowers. I love this bag, it's great. It's a great crossbody. Um, and it fits a lot, yet it stays slim, like it's packed, my bag. Um, and I wanted my little makeup brush <laughs> that I dropped. Okay, <laughs> this is the little makeup brush I really love to use by Chanel. I'll link it below. Um, and it's just this really nice fluffy brush, but it's super compact. I absolutely love this. So I'm just gonna take my glasses off and I'm just gonna tap in and like normally if I'm using this at home I would use a big larger fluffy brush, but if I'm on the go, which I plan on having this on the go, this is the brush I'm gonna be using. has that same light scent that the blushes have, which I quite like, but I don't know what smell it is. I think it's the, uh, the Twilly fragrance. All right, good. I'm happy with this. Just putting a little extra on my forehead because that's the one right here. It's the worst. And my chin. There you go. My nose, my chin, and my forehead. That does a beautiful job. Let me put my glasses back on so I can actually see. But yes, winner. Okay, I'm happy with this. Yay! Um, I've been wanting this for so so long, so I'm happy I finally picked it up. Just put the plastic back, and that's going to be slipped in my purse. One thing that's a little bit of shame um, is that they don't come with a little dust bag. And I feel like this is something that can really, it gets magnetic, but it's not like a snap. So it can open easy. So I'm gonna, I, I have the habit of keeping the little dust bags that come with the little Dior powders or the little Chanel uh, quads um, or powders or compacts. Because once those compacts are done and I've recycled them, I keep those pouches and they become really good little holders for lipsticks or hand sanitizer in your purse. And so I'm gonna use one of those dust bags, slip this in there and then have that in my purse. So it has just that little extra safety uh, to not open. But I'm really, really happy about that. And then I got one more item in here. And it is, I'm super excited about this one, the Irresistible. Uh, lip oil and I got it in Rose Cola uh, number five and apparently these all have a different scent and this one apparently smells like coca-cola but I chose it because I just loved this color um, so it is in a glass case it's very Minimis, minimalistic. Um, we see Hermes Paris there. Has the white logo like the foundation. And I want to put this on. So. There's a doe foot here. Oh yeah, definitely smells like Coca-Cola, which is lovely. I'm not a big Coca-Cola drinker. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Oh, I like that. Let me see, I'm gonna do a little swatch for you here. Oops. There you go. There's a good swatch. <laughs> I'm just... So 
So it's very, oh, I love this. Mm. Oh, that's really, I can't describe it, but it's enjoyable. Um, the feeling, it's not slippery like an oil and it's, it's not like so thin that you really don't feel like it's gonna last, but it's not sticky or thick feeling like a gloss. So I think it's kind of in between lip oil and lip gloss, even though they call this a lip oil. Um, and I'm really curious to see how long it holds. So I'm gonna keep you all posted on this, but and it's such a pretty neutral, I have a little extra on me. On my hand. <laughs> and there we go. That's fun. I really, really enjoy that. It's a little successful beauty haul. And then in here is just the little treat that my sweet um, beauty advisor gave me. Uh, so if ever you go to the Holt Renfrew in Montreal, my two go-to people are Manochac, who helps me at Hermes Beauty, and my sweet Henri Pierre, who helps me with... I've been with him for Chanel for years now. Uh, now he takes care of Tom Ford, so he's educating me on Tom Ford, so that's super fun. Um, but this one was with Manochac, and she's just so sweet. I love her. So... She gave me a little pouch <laughs> from Dior, <laughs> um, but I love it. It's this pretty, pretty pale pink and it just has a snap. And in here I have some lip samples. Let me see what's in here. There's the little lip brushes to be able to apply the samples. And there's a few here. So I have Rouge Ash. So at one point maybe I should do a video where I'm trying all the, the different Hermes lipsticks that I have and the samples just to have fun and see how they look. Um, this one is Satiné. Very, very pretty color. I love that. And then Beige Tadecat, which is not usually a good color for me, but we'll still try it. These are what she thought would look good on me, so we will see. Um, so that's fun. And then what I'm super excited about in here is some Creed samples. So I have the little papers here from spraying them. Oh my goodness, the Royal Princess Oud. I'm in trouble. I love this scent so much. And so um, last time I, I saw her, I had a paper with the spritz like this, but I didn't get a sample because they didn't have any left. Um, and I was obsessed with my little paper. I had it in my purse and everything because I loved the smell so much. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And then on this one, it's Aventus for men. And um, I did get a sample for Phil because it's just amazing. So, my little cards here. And the samples are in this little curried bag, which is so, so cute. And I'm gonna do it, open it right now because I actually wanna put some on. I didn't put any fragrance on today. So there's three little bottles in there. Um, so she gave me the Royal Princess Oud, which is what we're going to try. This is the Aventus for Phil. And a second Royal Princess Oud. Ooh, so I have some for a little while here. And look how nice the packaging is, like in this little sticker. Um, it's like a little bottle, so cute. So I'm going to open it up here and I'm gonna be very, very gentle with this. Oh my goodness, this scent is just, and you really don't need a lot of this fragrance. It's very, very potent. 
oh man, it's beautiful. So I look forward to seeing how it wears. Um, but I'm very, very excited to have this, this uh, sample and we will see how I love it because if I do, I'm going to have to be saving to buy a bottle. Um, but I'm very, very excited. Thank you, my sweethearts, for the samples. And I can't wait to have Phil try the Aventus. And now I have just a little bonus that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's kind of in the same theme from Indigo. So Indigo is a bookstore um, here. And I had pre-ordered this um, and it was sent as soon as the launch date came out. It got postponed a couple times, but it finally got here. Um, and it is Hermès, Straight from the Horse's Mouth, by Luc Charbin, illustrated by Alice Charbin. All these illustrations, which are the classic Hermès illustrations that I just love. And it says, from the late 19th century to the present day, the story of a house of exceptional craftsmanship unfolds page after page to reveal a moving human adventure and family odyssey. So. I, hadn't get, I didn't get to see what, what it looked like inside. Um, but I just, even if it was just to have on my shelf, um, but I'm going to read this and admire all of this artwork. I just love the Hermes artwork. I'm Alice Charbin, I'm such a fan of, and, um, a little Hermes book to add to my collection. so there you are that is what i wanted to share with you thank you so so much for watching if you do have any questions about anything please comment below i will link everything here below um and i thank you so so much for watching until next next time take good care